This is Darshana Gauchen with your B2B Cambodia market update for July 1st, 2024. The Cambodia Securities Exchange Index was down today. The index fell 1 point or 0.24% to 413.14 points. Total trade volume was down and extremely light, with only 50,977 shares changing hands at a total trade value of 259 million Khmer real or roughly 63,000 US dollars. On the main board, only two stocks were up. Phnom Penh Autonomous Port was up 0.94% or 120 real to 12,900 real per share, while Royal Group Phnom Penh SCZ was up 0.45% or 10 real to 2,220 real per share. On the downside, we saw Cam GSM down 0.41% or 10 real to 2,440 real per share, and Declata Bank and Sienegville Autonomous Port both were down 20 real each or 0.26% and 0.16% respectively. Four of the remaining stocks on the main board stayed flat. These were Pestec Cambodia, MJQ Education, the Phnom Penh Water Supply Authority, and Grand Twins International. On the growth board, we saw both companies drop in price. JS Land was down 0.82% or 30 real to 3,620 real per share, while DBD Engineering was down 0.48% or 10 real to 2,070 real per share. The trade volume leader of the day was Acleda Bank, with 13,525 shares changing hands at a total value of 102.5 million real, or roughly 24,950 US dollars, accounting for around 26% of all shares traded on July 1st. Cam GSM came in second, accounting for 22% of all trades on the main and growth boards combined, with 11,479 shares traded at a value of 28 million real, or around 6,820 US dollars. In other market news, MJQ Education successfully secured a $2 million loan from ABA Bank with a seven-year term of borrowing from 2024 to 2031 and an 8% per annum interest rate. The company states that this long-term loan underpins its strategic growth strategy and helps to expand the spectrum of its debt financing sources in alignment with its overarching business plan. As we previously reported, Royal Group Phnom Penh SCZ announced the issuance of its 41 billion Khmer real, or roughly 9.97 million US dollar, corporate green bond, holding the official listing ceremony last Friday, June 28th, at the Cambodia Securities Exchange building. Just as a reminder, the bond has a five year maturity and a coupon rate of SOFR plus 1.5% per annum. The bond will be partially redeemable before the maturity date and semi annually paid every December and June, with the redemption period starting from the second year after the issuing year, that is, from December 2026 until the fifth year. The Khmer Real to USD weakened slightly to 4,110 real per US dollar, while the US dollar index was slightly down to 105.52. Oil prices climbed on Monday, supported by forecasts of a supply deficit stemming from peak summer fuel consumption and OPEC Plus cuts in the third quarter, although global economic headwinds and rising non-OPEC Plus output capped gains. Brent crude futures rose 53 cents or 0.6% to 85.53 US dollars a barrel. Gold prices held steady after data showed US inflation subsided in May, bolstering hopes that the Federal Reserve will start cutting interest rates this year. Spot gold was nearly unchanged at 2,325.49 US dollars per ounce. Prices registered a more than 4% gain in the second quarter. US gold futures eased 0.2% to 2,334.80 US dollars. Stock futures rose on Monday morning as Wall Street looked ahead to the second half of 2024. Futures tied to the Dow Jones Industrial Average added 63 points or 0.12%, while S&P 500 futures gained 0.08% and Nasdaq 100 futures edged up 0.02%. This was Darshana Galchen with your B2B Cambodia market update for July 1st.